10, completing the accounting cycle for a sole proprietorship. Now, all the work we did before, chapter 9 and 8 and 7 and all that, we, chapter 10 will, will end everything. Now, we need to know how we're going to end everything that we did. Then, in chapter 11 and 12, and we start something new. Okay, now, chapter 10 has two sections in it. Preparing the closing entries. That's why we said we're going to conclude everything in chapter 10. That's why we call it preparing closing entries. And then we're going to be posting the closing entries and preparing a post closing trial balance later on. So we're going to do the post closing trial balance. And that's what we learn in chapter 8 mainly. Uh, and we'll go from there. I mean, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and explain this in, in school. So preparing the closing entries. Okay. Now, which accounts we're going to be closing? Which accounts we is going to stay open? I mean, we cannot, we're not going to be able to close uh, every account, and we're not allowed to close every account for you know as, since uh, the company is still ongoing. So, but there's certain accounts that we're going to close. Now, what are those accounts? That that's what we call a temporary account that we're going to be closing. Okay. So, what are those accounts? Uh, let's say. Um, I'm going to mention them because they still haven't mentioned it yet. So the closing accounts here, revenue, and we're going to close expense. We're going to close withdraw. And those are the three accounts that we're going to close because they are temporary accounts. And we're going to close them in something called income summary. But later on, we'll talk about it, except the withdraw account. It, it closes directly to the capital, right? So income summary holds uh, revenue and holds expense in it. So now, the minute we close revenue, into income summary revenue is equal to zero after that so the balance will be zero and we do the same thing with the expense the minute we move everything all the expense to the income summary that means expense will be zero after that now what income summary does it holds the amount the one from the revenue and from the expense and gives you either a net profit or a net loss so this amount needs to be closed in the capital so if it's a net profit, it adds, it adds up to the capital. If it's net loss, it takes from the capital. Okay. Then we're going to close withdraw directly to capital. Okay. Now, income summary has to also to close because it's a temporary account. We use it just you know, for the purpose of moving things around. So we moved either net profit or net loss to the capital. Now, income summary back is back to zero. It's from the way it started. It started as a zero, went back to zero. So that's the section for the first one here and the next section is going to be talking about posting closing entries and preparing a post closing trial balance now remember this is your uh, you know this is your, this is how it's going to look like this is by the way this is the journal that's going to show, show that the closing entries so now we send the title to closing entries and then we're going to be doing closing everything so notice that revenue here is debit remember we always said revenue cannot be debit in normal transaction but this is not a normal one so this is actually we're closing so we need to switch places so revenue now it's a debit instead of credit and income summary it's a credit uh, this is needs a lot of work in class we'll do it don't worry you'll understand it okay and that's how a trial balance will look like uh, after closing remember post means after post closing try so this is how it's going to look like trial balance after you're done and uh, that's it that's the chapter definitely we can take us a uh, couple of weeks to finish okay guys talk to you later bye bye